All right, so I said in my last video that I will not do this technique. But since I have time to ride this morning, so I prepared this. So what you want to do um, to break in uh, your leather seat <coughs> is to prepare a bucket of water. Uh, and it should be warm, not hot, just warm, but not too cold. Um, so it is good enough. And what I what I what I'm doing here is I put some um, car wash soap because I don't like the smell of that cheap leather uh, Chinese leather it smells like cheap shoes <laughs> and uh, I, I've done this before um, I, I just want to infuse the leather with some yeah with some nice smell so leave it here for 15 minutes and you notice I left the string there because the leather will expand and you want that string to hold it, the piece together so you want to soak the leather here maybe 10-15 minutes you want all the fiber to be wet like that so as you can see the leather it's not easily soaked or uh, especially because I put my leather condition in there yesterday so you want to soak in there and it will obviously because of the weight of the hardware it will be there um, and then uh, when the leather is wet and supple you install it again and then you ride it that's how you that's how they do uh, vacuum forming of a leather holster so they wet the leather and then they vacuum it uh, to conform to whatever mold that uh, they have yeah okay so I'll leave it here for um, 10 minutes more and then uh, dry it obviously dry it a little bit don't use dryer just use shop towels and and then you ride it and after maybe an hour of riding maybe more more than an hour would be better of course and you'll find yourself a broken in leather saddle okay so this is after maybe 30 minutes because i ate breakfast so you soak it like that and it's not much soak but because of the uh, that's how good my leather conditioning is. See, it, it's keeping it protected, the beeswax. That's why I, I use beeswax instead of paraffin wax. That uh, paraffin wax is the wax they use for candles and uh, Brooks <laughs> is using paraffin wax. I use beeswax, uh, but I think this is fine. This is good enough and you can see, medyo na nawala yung tan niya, yung kulay. And then you don't want to use a hair dryer for this uh, because you want to, to let the leather slowly dry while you're forming it, meaning you're sitting on it so that your seat bones will really be seated on this. So the way to start riding this is obviously you don't want to ride it with your uh, saddle wet as wet as that because, and oh, oh, by the way, also you have to use a shorts. And uh, it's okay to be discolored because it's a man chan yung shorts, yung, right? Um, and then you use shop towels like this. This is a very good one, very absorbent. Or you can just also use a um, regular uh, towel. So you just, you just dry it like that and then you wear it with a short that, uh, you know, with a disposable short. So this way. All right, let me do it. and. Put it in and then uh, report back. Okay, this after riding it for about uh, only 30 minutes, I needed to go home. But you can already see that it's creating that profile for my butt. <laughs> so this used to be very straight, right? It's almost straight. And now you can see the dip on this uh, uh, area uh, where my butt really rests on. And obviously this is an upright uh, bicycle, fairly upright, and so my seat bones are fairly uh, pushing down on it. And you can already see that it is beginning to shape up quite nicely uh, to my butt <laughs> or to my seat bones. But uh, what you want to do is ride it until it gets uh, fairly dry. It's not yet dry, it's still very wet, 
Um, so I just use tissue to sit on it to protect my shorts. But yeah, so that's the way to break in your leather saddle, leather saddle quickly, um, uh, efficiently. Uh, well, depends on on how you want to ride. But that's how the leather saddle is. Bye bye.